Welcome back, Rod and Culture Illustrated Magazine, issue number 17, The Egyptian, let's get to it. And you already know, table of contents, letters to the editor. I really like this page only because of the graphic designs right here, you know, the cartoony drawings, really cool. And the first pinup model, this is the reason why I get Rod and Culture Magazine. Half of it is for the cars, the other half of it is for the women. I think it's, you know, super nice. More articles on other events. And here we are with the first car feature, the Egyptian. And this is a 1958 Oldsmobile Super 88. And um, man, gorgeous. I love the gold brownish color to it. Man, the... Like this, this design right here towards the back, impeccable, man. I just love the, how it goes from like very circular design to very square. I love all those little lines like that. The grill of the car, super badass. Even the headlights right here, I love how this, like the chrome kind of stretches. Like, you know, it looks like it's being stretched. That looks so badass. The grill of the car. All those little squares, really cool um, details. White wall car, clean man. The interior también. Looks like you're like honeycomb, miel, very warm colors, you know. Very sweet. And man, beautiful colors on this car, man. You get so much range from super dark browns to very light golds. Jesus Christ. And I wonder if this thing has hydraulics as well, because um why not, you know? Why why not put hydraulics on an Oldsmobile? Lowrider kind of looking classic car. And continuing with more advertisements, Kim Falcon, Hollywood Photography, some kind of DVDs. Here we are with um, more hot rods kind of action. Lazy 8. Man, this car looks like it's from the 20s. No, this is... um. Oh, Lazy 8 was just coined in 1948 by... This is a... I don't know. I guess it's like a mixture of so many different cars from so many di different years. Crazy ass vehicle, man. I have yet to see a car like that in real life. This page is pretty cool. I think this is the artist feature. And I think it's featuring Gerald Tidwell. And I guess this guy does everything, you know, pinstriping. Really cool, dope kind of um, freaky kind of cartoon, cartoons, home wrecker, even some body art. Man, that's something I have yet to do, body art. This one looks more digital. Pretty cool designs. And I don't think we have a portrait of the actual artist, just his artwork, but still pretty cool nonetheless. Oh, skip the page. A big show in Pomona. Pretty cool. You know, uh, I think the hot rod world, or I think all the car, like the car world in general, ha will always overlap with each other. You know, here you have some motorcycles, some old school hot rods. Lowrider looking vehicle, you know, I'm shared this, um, the lowrider kind of car kind of fits in every kind of world. This one looks freaking badass right here. It's an all, all chrome paint 61 T-Bird right here. I can, I can't really see it that well, but it looks freaking badass. Here we have Dave, Dave's RPU. And I'm kind of digging these new designs too, or these old school designs. They're new to me, but they're all the um, all historical um, pieces right here. Sick ass um, little car right here. Tech tips. Moon eyes. Kind of wanted to say it, Moonies, but Moon eyes. Man, on the top right, that fat ass. Um, Bomba right there. Jesus Christ. 
And um, looks like the photographer got some really cool angles of all the cars, keeping it in keeping it interesting. Over here, Kern County, 2009 Bakersfield. Damn, dude, 2009. And um, here we have the Culver City Kid. Kid, the Culver City Kid. Damn, this fool looks a beast. This little buggy looks like an off-road and everything. Mean that's a little hot rod right here, and then again, more with the graphic design kind of page um, outline right here. Authentic zombie hot rod wear. Man, this freaking badass little demon guy right here. I gotta get me one of these shirts. Tony Waters, Forever Young. Um, I think uh, this is a article featuring like some kind of racer guy right here race car driver I, I have also never been to one of these um dragster races and they're pretty interesting though the centerfold pinned up model pretty badass pretty cool is it like that or like this i guess it's like this She's like hanging from a, I don't even know where, where she's hanging from, but I think it's just a really sci-fi looking chair, very 70s or 60s. Here we are with Halopi Rama. What? Or Jalopi Rama? Halopi Rama? Pretty badass vehicles as well very unique Chuck's 45 pretty cool bike man now that I'm looking at this magazine there's a whole other world out there dude that I haven't even seen the racing world what does that say Akonichi Ochonichi Speedway Returns or Okonichi? Damn, dude. New words, new cars, new events. Pretty cool um, racetrack right here. Or just the field in general. Even has the coupon or the subscription. And this is advertising products. Another artist, cantabash.com. Art to match the mind, not the couch. Pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of the like in and out kind of art. Thunfield, Rod and Custom. Pretty cool on designs, I guess. Or Man, this looks like a drawing, but I think it's a photograph of a car, man. That's crazy. More behind the scenes of the guys working in the garage. I think I've seen this advertisement a few times. Viva, vivaspinups.com. I'm gonna try to look into it, see what they even sell. Drag sedan. Damn, dude. What the hell is even going on on the front of the car, dude? have no idea it looks like a freaking beast ass car man is that a backpack on the back the freaking um <laughs> driver's seat right here crazy project car or what drag strip confidential otra vez a whole different um these fools making the mini trucks volkswagen jump some pictures from back in the day 1963 so basically pictures from the 60s and the and the 70s traditional 39 sedan what's up with these sedans not having a, a hood on the car is it to show off their engine or is it supposed to run like that drag fest famoso speed shop 
Swindler's Poker Run. Again, I'm telling you, they have the their en their engines kind of exposed. Pretty cool though. Mm -hmm. And the good guys join us today. I think we're getting near the end. Sam Strew, fifty-five. I wonder how that fool races his car. Pinstriping on the actual bottles. I think um, I've seen a lot of lowrider dudes see, do this at the like Chicano art shows. Child's play. Looks like a pretty funny bug. I don't even know, dude. It looks like a freaking um, like a bomba, but like a like a little Volkswagen kind of car, you know. This fool even has it raised up a little bit. Bruce Larson's. This looks really cool. And I think that's about it. The last pinup model. And that's that's rotten and culture. Thanks for watching. Peace.